Hi, I'm Sherry Palm, the founder and CEO of APOPS, the Association for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Support. Let's talk about physical therapy, a modality that's very useful for many different reasons. Physical therapists and physiotherapists can treat pelvic organ prolapse with many different types of modalities. They're of great value to women who do not want to have surgery. They're also of great value for the screening process, something that's vastly overlooked, I feel. And there's additionally value in their treatments post-surgery. Sometimes women have surgery and things don't feel quite right down there yet. They don't understand the sensations that they're experiencing. And once you've gotten past about a 12-week heel curve, things should start to level off. And if you're still having concerns about sensations that you're experiencing, you might consider asking your healthcare practitioner for a referral to a physical therapist. They can assess the musculature, they can assess the nerves, they can assess the sensations that you're experiencing and help you understand what's going on as well as help you devise treatments, utilize treatments and exercise regimens to help get balanced. We are hugely overlooking a very valuable resource for women with pelvic organ prolapse and I feel that if we create more recognition for what they're doing, we'll help women help themselves. For information about where to find a physical therapist that specializes in pelvic floor, you can refer to the APOPS website under the Healthcare Connections page. There is a separate page for physical therapists. You can go into that page and insert your zip code into their search engine on their website and it'll take you to the PTs in your area that specialize in pelvic floor. If you have more questions, please reach out to us on our chat room. The link's on our homepage and we'll try to get information to you as quickly as possible.